factoring no i am taking the ring so this is the axis mass m and radius r now where, where that axis it is passing through center of mass and perpendicular to plane this is a thin ring now what is the moment of inertia of this ring so let let's assume a small element let's assume a small element ha ah, pallax theorem you can apply for rod parallel to that one has yes, in fact parallax theorem only that is uh, no 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 let me assume a some elemental mass of mass dm this one so what is the and i'll put it here there the, the, the elemental mass we assumed it and what is the mass of that dm d theta it is subtend an angle dm uh, then what is the moment of inertia of this you take any element you take any element at what distance it will be at a distance r only you, you take any element here that element will be at a distance r only of course i i i just chosen at different positions here but all the, all the elements will be any point on the ring will be at a distance r only so di is equal to dm di is equal to dm into r square now uh, what is r the distance of elements from that one i assumed only one element you you take any element it is at a distance r only so when i am integrating so can i keep r square outside then i'll integrate so what is the total mass of the ring m so this will be the moment of inertia i is equal to r square m or m r square what, what is this about an axis passing through center and perpendicular to plane it is passing through its center and perpendicular to plane so this is the moment of inertia of this particular ring i think there is a definition so nothing big is there Like this, you assume any number of elements.